In this short video, I'm going to be speaking about the characteristics of digital information, which is part of the information environment. The information in this presentation is drawn from the work of Negroponte in Being Digital, and also Dana Boyd's publication, Social Network Sites as Network Publics, Affordances, Dynamics and Implications. Digital information does not exist in the same way that physical representations of information do. Physical representations are a collection of atoms, while digital structures are made out of bits. Bits are the smallest form of digital storage, which are transmitted over network connections. The underlying properties of bits and atoms are essentially different. And these core differences are what is fundamentally changing the information landscape. The nature of bits is that they can be easily duplicated, compressed and transmitted through networks. This means that information composed of bits has the same qualities, allowing it to be distributed far more easily and quickly than physical representations of information. Therefore, Digital information has different characteristics to traditional physical information formats. And this in turn is what is shaping our information experience. The nature of digital information means that it has the following characteristics which differentiate it from physical representations. Persistence, replicability, scalability and searchability. We're going to look at each one of these in turn and discuss what they mean for digital information and also the implications for the teacher librarian. Persistence. The development of the written word enabled humanity to record information on a more permanent basis than ever before. Recording or converting information into digital form creates an even more permanent record. Many technological systems make bits permanent by default. That is, they are never truly able to be deleted, although they may appear to have disappeared or be lost. The persistence of digital information is one contributor to the growth of the information landscape. Consider how much data is stored on your laptop and imagine if you needed to store this physically. Because digital information takes no physical space apart from the storage item that it's being stored in, we are more likely to store an increasing amount of information, even more so when we consider that we have access to additional storage in the cloud. In a school library, this means that we can offer more information than ever before to our students and teachers, because we're not as limited by physical space. However, the downside of this is that students and teachers need to further develop their skills and capabilities in searching for information because there is so much more of it and it is so much more accessible. This also has implications for students' digital citizenship. The persistence of digital information means that unlike a physical photograph which could be torn up and destroyed, Digital information, such as a compromising image, which has been shared online, can never really ever be removed from the internet. In fact, a person's digital reputation can be so difficult to repair that the only option is to generate even more content of a positive nature, which places the individual in a better light and virtually pushing the negative information further down where it is less likely to be viewed by others. The persistence of digital information is an important one for teacher librarians to understand and to educate others about. Replicability. The ease with which we can replicate bits also contributes to information overload. With a control C and control V, we can copy and paste images, music, text, video and files containing any combination of these and other media. The act of uploading digital information is based on making copies and digital information is more easily distributed than ever before. 
This also has implications for seeking the provenance of information and its accuracy. Not only can bits be replicated, they can be easily manipulated, making it even more difficult to identify which is the original and which is the copy that may or may not have been altered. This feature of digital information is a blessing. For example, copying and editing a draft is easier than ever before, but also a curse as the proliferation of mis- and disinformation continues. The need for teacher librarians to understand replicability is fairly obvious. Teaching students and teachers about the importance of seeking credible information and strategies to identify mis- and disinformation as well as malinformation is an important part of the TL role. It's always been necessary to teach this aspect of information literacy, but the nature of digital information means that it is even more so as our information environment becomes increasingly polluted. Scalability. Related to replicability is scalability or the ease with which digital information can be distributed. While there is no guarantee, digital information has the potential to achieve high levels of visibility as any person who has had content they have shared go viral may attest. Associated with this ease of distribution is the capacity for digital information to be easily decontextualized. Digital information can be manipulated as we've heard and separated from its original context prior to being shared, thus fundamentally changing the nature of the communication. This, along with the separation from data indicating its original source, can weaken the credibility of digital information. Searchability. While librarians have long used metadata and other information organization strategies to make information searchable, digital information has become searchable in ways not previously possible. Access to digital information via search engines is possible using natural language searching and algorithms based on our previous searches attempt to supply the most relevant results. Data gathered through technological means such as GPS or Bluetooth tracking means that completely new sources of information are now also searchable. We can search for the physical, e.g. find my phone, by using digital information. As Google continues to refine its algorithm searching, it becomes easier and yet more challenging to navigate inf digital information. While it is easy to find an answer, it can be difficult to find the right answer. This is where the TL's role is vitally important. We want our students to understand that searchability of digital information means that if they know the correct strategy, they can navigate not only Google, but a wide range of databases and other information repositories and unearth the information they're looking for quickly and effectively. This is most definitely a positive attribute of digital information and one that creates even more opportunity for the TL to add value through their role. So what do you think? What are the opportunities and challenges created by digital information and its attributes and its nature? Share your thoughts in the forum and I look forward to reading and sharing more with you about this topic.